What is up YouTube? Welcome to the end zone. Make sure to check out my Patreon. You can get some cool rewards. Uh, today we're going to get into the XFL and the New York tryout list. So we'll start off with the defense, and there weren't really many players on the defense that stood out to me, but uh, defensive end Jarrell Worthy, he was a former second round pick and played for Green Bay and Buffalo and I believe Tampa Bay. Then safety Max Redfield, who was actually on the YouTube show a while back when I was AAF zone. He played for Notre Dame and the Birmingham Iron in the AAF. Let's move down to the offensive side of the ball. The first player that really stands out is Hakeem Nix. Former first round pick at wide receiver, won a Super Bowl with the Giants. Most people know who this guy is. He's kind of old, but I mean, he could probably tear it up in the XFL against lower level competition. So that would be interesting to see. Next up, another good wide receiver, Mikal McKay. He was a standout for the San Antonio Commanders in the Alliance of American Football. Good to see him getting another shot after the AAF's folding. There's only really one tight end who I saw, Evan Rodriguez. He also played for the San Antonio Commanders. Running back now, running back was the position that stood out to me the most. And this is definitely the best running back group we have gotten out of any of the tryout lists. So we'll start off with Brandon Oliver. He played for the Chargers and the Salt Lake Stallions in the Alliance of American Football. Then Andre Williams. This is who I'm most excited about. He's a former Heisman finalist who played for Boston College and had a rough NFL career with two years with the Giants, I believe. Uh, but I'm really excited to see Andre Williams get back. He was one of my favorite college players. Tarion Fulston, who played with Notre Dame in the Atlanta Legends. Ty Isaac, he played for Michigan in the Birmingham Iron. And then also Dexter McCluster. He did not show up to the tryout. Some people believe it was because he had an Arena Football League game. I hope Dexter McCluster could make the XFL. I'd love to see him play. Now the quarterbacks were pretty disappointing for me, honestly. Uh, I really didn't know many of these guys, but I will cut the XFL some slack because the last two quarterback groups before this who practiced in Dallas and Houston were pretty good, and I think the next groups are going to exceed expectations for sure. Now, because the first two groups were fairly strong, I'm going to cut them some slack, but the quarterbacks that stood out the most were Joe Callahan. He won the D3 Heisman and played with the Packers for a short time. And Alex Torgerson, I really only know him because I was a fan of Hard Knocks when he was on the Falcons. Uh, he played for Penn, so he's a, a smart guy, but, you know, not really great quarterbacks in this list. But hey, if they are good, they will prove me wrong. Let me know what you think down below. We have some NFL stuff coming soon, college stuff. We're going to ramp up the content. We're going to keep up with the XFL. We're going to get some CFL stuff out. And then I believe Arena Football League will also get a couple more videos. Let me know what you think down below. Make sure to comment which XFL city you are a fan of. Uh, thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like and subscribe.